Now before I go ahead and drop the bed down this thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the key on so I can hear that fuel pump run for a few seconds. Then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna give it a quick look, make sure we don't have any fuel leaks. If everything looks okay there, then I'm gonna go ahead and start the truck up. I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit, then shut it off, come back here, double check again, make sure we don't have any leaks. If everything looks good there, then we're gonna go ahead and set the bed back down and start reattaching it. All right, everything looks pretty good there. Let's fire it up. like that, nothing to it. Next I'm going to start the four bolts down the driver's side of the bed and once I get all four of those started I'm going to go ahead and tighten all four of those down and the four that's over on the passenger side. Next one is going to be our tail light connections and uh, these connectors are shaped in such a way that they'll only go on right to right, left to left, so that way you can't get them backwards. So just plug those in. Just like that. Now I'm going to reattach the fuel filler neck. Pull it up in place. Get it lined up there, and you got your two Torx head screws. Get those started. Get 
Then once you get those started, you got your plastic rivet. You just pull the head up on the rivet a little bit, press the rivet down into the hole, press that plunger down, you got it. Then all we gotta do is tighten the two screws. There we go. Okay, the last thing to put back on is gonna be the tailgate. Now, when we're gonna put this back on, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it up on the bumper, and we gotta line up the pocket on the driver's side with the mounting lug over here. Then once we do that, the pocket for the passenger side's gotta slot it. So what we'll do is we'll just ease the bed down, get it to start the slot, then we can hook the cables back up and we'll have it reattached. Just kinda be very careful with this thing. You don't wanna scratch it up, but you also don't wanna paint your fingers, so just be careful with it. I'm just gonna take it, just rest it on the bumper. I'm gonna start that lug in that pocket right there, just like that. Go over here to the other side. Okay, I've got it in place. And all I gotta do is snap the cables back in place. There we go. Alrighty guys, well that's gonna wrap up our fuel pump project for our 2007 Chevrolet Silverado Classic. You know, it wasn't too hard of a job to do. You'd think that, that bed would be a little bit more difficult to raise up than that, but actually it's not very heavy at all. I mean, shoot, if this old redneck can do it, I guarantee you can do it too. Yeah. Well, as always guys, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all come back by D-Ray Shop anytime. Never know what we're going to be working on next. All right. Y'all have a good one.